what is architecture? Um, architecture, for me anyway, is a, is a framework of understanding. It's a way to enable a certain approach to explore different ideas and to rethink certain strategies about how we live and how we interact with people. So, for me, architecture is really a way of asking questions. Uh, they're cultural, they're societal. And in a way, they're sort of evolving questions about how we interact and how we explore ideas together. What would you say is the difference between building and architecture? Yeah, this one is an interesting one. I mean, architecture for me somehow embodies things that are beyond, let's say, convention. There are ways of really trying to explore curiosity to enable people to discover, to really try to get a sense about how space is a medium and how that serves as a new way to facilitate communication. And what can architecture do? I think architecture can do a lot. It depends on, I guess, the definition. But for me, it's, it's really about exploring experimental practice and seeing how this approach to ideas and ways of thinking can really offer, I think, new ways of actually working through a whole series of different problems. Like architecture for me is fundamentally human. So it allows a very different way to really operate in the world. And I think that's what our real con contribution is. The ability that I think we can participate and work through a lot of different conceptual ideas, find ways of really exploring social interaction and material interaction, and, and really, I think, demonstrate and show alternative ways of speculating about uh, everything from the city to the domestic house. It's a way of really actually enabling communication and facilitating things between people. And what is your architectural position? What is my architectural position? Uh, I have an unapologetic belief that architecture is very important and architects need to participate in things. Um, generally speaking, I think we're living in very radical times. And I think the responses of architects have to be really open in terms of how they approach things. We don't, uh, particularly in my work with Minima Forms, with my brother and with my students at the DRL, uh, we don't have prescriptive ideas of what architecture should be, but uh, we're really exploring what it can be. And in that sense, I think really allowing a very open and participatory way of thinking about things. Design matters, and I think anybody who says otherwise is really not very much invested in the project of architecture. So it's about possibilities. Could you tell maybe something more about your project? Yeah, my, my project has always been something that was really about trying to discover new ways of, of thinking about things. We're really interested with my brother in Minima Forms to explore ideas that, uh, about facilitating new ways of communicating. We work through very generative approaches towards things because we believe that things are latent and unknown and we want to enable people to engage things. So if it's designing cars or if it's designing buildings or if it's designing interfaces, we feel that those are all spatial problems and all problems of really interaction. So we don't believe in the world being finite and fixed. We think it's dynamic and it's evolving. And because of that, I think we have to also think and radically reconsider the terms of reference that we use for architecture today. And what is your design method? I think that goes towards something that we've been calling behavior-based design. Um, we explore ways of really looking at uh, design as something that kind of emerges, that explores a certain kind of relationship to how things interact between each other, uh, really to deal with populations, to deal with ways that people can sort of participate and sort of envelop a certain attitude of architecture as an environment. Um, we feel that that is a way of working through problems at different scales, and actually, to be very specific, we don't believe in generic. Uh, we want things to be contextual. We don't believe in style. But I think we really do have a sensibility about how we approach things and 
I think sometimes that leads us astray from buildings at times, but sometimes buildings aren't the answer. So I think we try to ask ways to ask better questions for how we can explore architecture and the project of architecture.